And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it here from Westlake Village, California. It is 9.55 p.m., long day at work. Long day at work today, but I want to bring you guys a video because Bitcoin is about to be, is about to make new all-time highs. We got a lot to celebrate. I'm going to get deep and dirty in these charts. I'm going to take a look at what I call the rent portfolio. Yes, one of my buddies here is looking to pay rent. He said I got ten thousand dollars. I want to. I want to pay rent. And what would you recommend? So I put together a little portfolio for him. Not saying you should take your rent money and buy crypto, but um, we're going to get into that and just take a look at Bitcoin and what could potentially happen. What's already happened? Selling off the high here. Um, just revisiting over the last couple of weeks, we talked about what happened as we approached the all time high in 2020. What happened as we approached the all time high in, uh, oh, what was, so we had an all time high in 2020, a all time high retest in 2017. And an all-time high retest or breakthrough, smash through on the, that's the weekly time frame. Let's look at on a daily. Uh, back in 2020, 2020, in 2017. Yes, indeed. And uh, the all-time high in 2013. Okay, so just to recap what happened in 2013 as we reapproached the all-time high, we smashed right through it. And some might say this was a bit of a retest uh, or a retrace, a retrace, retest. But um, let me get my screen up here and zoom in a little bit for you guys. And I would count this as a sell off the high, right? So again, uh, we had a 12% drawdown. And then you could say this was on a shorter term time frame. These are, you know, 10% drawdowns. So. I would count that as two, two uh, temporary drawdowns in the 2013 bust through, big bust through on that all time high. And then you got the uh, 2016, 2017 high, excuse me. And this one drew down quite a bit more. So that was a 30% drawdown. And this was a. 31% drawdown. So drawdown two times as we retested the all time high. And this one again here, uh, two retraces, except for these retracements were 17% and 10%. So as we are reapproaching the all time high right now, what is happening? Are we going to smash through it while we're on stream at 68? Uh, sorry, this is BLX. So let's take a look at what just happened right here. And I'm actually going to draw a nice little line. And the exchange I'm using right now is uh, the Binance perp chart. And I'm going to put that all time high in right here. Right here at, um, let's be accurate here, at 69,296 depending upon what chart you are on. And you can see, we just got our first test of the green 55 after the last rally. And what do you know? Bitcoin tends to bounce as volatility is declining off that green 55 and it works on altcoins too. So uh, how big of a retracement did we get? 5%. So could that go for more as um, we are getting kicked out of the critical zone here and not officially yet, but um, if the hourly does want to come down a little bit more. Oh, look at that. So the hourly, did it just close? It is 10 p.m. I need to go home and uh, take a shower at least before I come back tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, getting back into the chart here, just giving you my thoughts as uh, Bitcoin is having a short term pullback and why could this time be different? Well, 
Interesting tweet here from Matt Hogan uh, says, keep it simple. The more demand, there's more demand than new supply. So the Bitcoin ETFs last week purchased 30,000 Bitcoin, yet um, new Bitcoin produced by miners only 6,160. So I'd beg to differ if there is actually one Bitcoin mined every 10 minutes, which I think that's the going rate right now. It's more like 6,300, but who knows? Um, close enough is close enough. But there's a whole heck of a lot more demand than there is supply right now. Secondly, um, you got uh, GBDC won't be dropping fees anytime soon. So these guys, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, January 11th, they started with $28 billion under management. Uh, March 11th, they have $27 billion under management. And uh, so they lost 1.6 billion, even though 200K Bitcoin have left the ETF. So 200,000 Bitcoin have left Grayscale. They still got 27 billion under management. So yes, Barry Silbert is still laughing. Their fees are the highest. Uh, what other tweet that I think was good? Nice tweet from Mr. Dupes there. Uh, Grayscale Bitcoin holdings dropped with almost 200,000 Bitcoin sold in just two months. The market easily absorbed the sell-off, making the worries about GBDC insignificant now. And another one uh, regarding the ETF, Bitcoin ETF inflows have absolutely blown gold out of the water. Not even close, utterly dwarfed. Thanks for paying, playing non-fixed supply boomer rock enjoyers. So... Basically, that's that's what they're saying is the boomers are driving this market right now. And you can see right here um, the uh, gold inflows versus the Bitcoin ETF. So Bitcoin ETF is just skyrocketing. <clears throat> so is this going to be different? I'm one of those things, guys, that says, no, it's not going to be different. So um, I do believe we'll get two temporary sales sells off the high. Hey, could I be wrong? Yes. But I think things tend not to be different. So I am going to stick with that. Oh, look at Stacks finally getting the pump. Everything's finally getting the pump. I'll let you know it's not all glory over here. And I'm going to give a Nasty shout out to KuCoin because of this garbage exchange. I remember why I left KuCoin and yes, I had a stop loss in and it did not execute. And uh, well, pretty, pretty nasty drawdown down 11,000 on that position so far. So, um, and that's a realized PL. Long story short, stop losses don't always work. It's happened to me on KuCoin many times and Part of the reason this clunky, lame site, I don't use it anymore. And I only came in here to buy me some cock coin. Yes, uh, it is a rooster. And uh, I do believe, uh, well, just revisiting some of our targets from last week. Um, we hit the TP1 and we hit the TP2 and now TP3. TP3 is on the mark, and with the meme coins flying, uh, absolutely flying, Pepe, um, you've got Floki, which I do think they're all about to cool down. Personally, it does look like it's time for a little bit of a turnaround. Uh, Shib, the only one that I think uh, probably has more to go is Mr. Doggy Coin. But if we do close this next candle like that, um, you know, might have a bit of a retracement, Mr. Doggy. I think um, could potentially have one more bounce in it, but uh, actually I think Doggy has a bit more to go. And here's why. Um, we pretty much smashed through the last liquidity bits here and just hit this last level of uh, support, which is now resistance right here coming in at about 20 cents. But as I've been saying all year long, uh, this one likely to make new all time highs. With Elon, um, oh, look at that. Just perfectly coming up against resistance there. 
Might be a good time for, but what, you want, what you'd want to see if you're going to be bullish is for this thing to pop up, make a higher low right here, and then, then continue onwards and upwards with a next target back at about 33 cents. And the all-time high on this one was 74 cents. So um, not bad if we do make new all-time highs. So, all right, let's get into our rent portfolio. It's important to be focused around the narratives. And what are the narratives? Well, I think actually I'm just going to add a little bit more to this guy. Um, no, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for another coin. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Stacks is breaking out right now. Um, but let's get into... All right, I'm going to turn off the 80s punk rock music here and let's get into what is ribbon finance also known as avo this is a new dex and their specialty is kind of like ico type coins apparently and again this is a dex no kyc this is why people go there and i should pull up the chart now uh ribbon mr ribbon so you know, probably a good time for this one to turn around, uh, Mr. Doggy. Um, but I'm going to go with one more bounce, one more bounce and see if it plays out. Um, anyways, long story short, this one is grabbing that liquidity and let's see if it can push one more time. At least um, that's that's my hope with Bitcoin skyrocketing today and most of the altcoins just absolutely pulling back. This was kind of that buy the dip opportunity and back onto the portfolio. So ribbon uh, again, a DEX coin RBN. Oh, man, the brain is moving slow now. Here we go. RBN RBN. The internet's moving slow too here, so let's see. If we can see this one available on Coinbase, uh, another, and it's not really available anywhere else, but this one is flagging out here at the, at the all time highs, grinding it up. This one has been straight upwards and onwards. And again, tapping that resistance not quite yet so i do think this one has a bit left to go in it um volatility is now starting to increase the uh almost have a positive slope here and i'm bullish on this one generally bullish as long as we're above this uh support level here the last higher low coming in here at 39 cents so again something to put on your watch list um and next one up meme coin oh yeah we got a maga coin here did i tell you guys i am officially a maga trump holder of nf uh, i've got the nft for maga so smash the like button if you are in support of mr trump and hit the nay button if you're not um i i I would tend to think that uh, he's going to do a better job than Mr. Joe Biden. Anyways, long story short, I'm going to move on to MAGA coin. If I can uh, pull it up here. Okay, MAGA. Oh, man, I'm ready for some sleep. I'm ready for that shower and... Uh, Again, grinding up against the all-time highs. This one has done a 10x this year, or almost a 10x. No, it's done It's done quite a bit more. Mr. MAGA is now a 500 billion, or 300, and, I think it's 300 billion. Why is this not showing my percentage of gain here? That can't be 1,300%. Let's see how much did we go up since Feb. Let's see since February. Ten thousand percent. Something's wrong with my chart right now. Something just. Something. Oh, I think I got the wrong uh, symbol here. Wow, the internet's really kicking down here. Is this the right chart? 
Anyways, we're talking fraction of fractions of a penny and we just took a long for Mr. Rob here. So wishing you some luck on this 10X port on, on this rent portfolio. Um, See, so memes got to be part of the bag anyways, even if you're just investing. Uh, right now, memes are hot and you might as well have one in your portfolio. Uh, gaming. So this is a hot pick. Shout out to Jeff, my brother, called me up two weeks ago and says, let's get some DGI, which is some kind of a gaming coin that rewards the users and um, you know they they basically give money back to the people that invest in it and who use the game i personally haven't checked out the game yet but um, it's all about the narrative right now and gaming tokens are hot so oh man come on help me out here my eyes are hurting it's it's dark I'm getting a bit of a headache, but I wanted to bring you one video today, even though it's 10 o'clock. We were working here like dogs all day and keeping it keeping it going here because the crypto market never sleeps and neither do I. No, just kidding. So this lovely piece of internet technology is getting a bounce off the not 0.5 off declining volatility. Personally, I wouldn't mind seeing it come all the way back down to this level, somewhere around the green 55, but as long as we're closing above there, I would say uh, continues onwards and upwards. So shout out to Jeff on this one for getting us in to Mr. DGI. Um, just tends not to want to stop, doesn't want to stop. Oh, and here's what else I liked about it. Coin market cap. Wow, the internet must know that I'm streaming right now and just saying no, no love for you tonight. She's been working pretty good all day. So $54 million market cap. And as you can see, it just doubled. So I think when we got in, it was about 25 million and uh, onwards and upwards. Let's go DGI games. Uh, next up on the rent portfolio, Crust, a storage coin. Now, all of the storage type coins, File, AR, <coughs> or Rweave, they all really started to go. So I'm going to just pull this one up here and uh, I'm not even going to look for it. So it was Krusty. Krusty the Clown. Everybody remembers The Simpsons. It is available on Mexi. We do have a link in the description below. Hey, don't forget to like the video, guys, if you can do me that one favor. I would appreciate it. And crust, getting crusty. Look at that. Um, big girthy weekly candle to start the week off. This thing doesn't want to stop. And uh, well, now, Mr. Rob, you're the lucky holder of some crust coin. And this is part of the file storage. This is more uh, crypto rangers. This isn't crust, is it? What did I buy? Uh oh. C R U S T. Crust Network. Okay, I'm 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 gonna have to double check this one. Um, C R U. Is that the symbol? C R U. Oh, I guess it is Crust. Anyways, looks bullish to me. Um, after and what is the market cap on this one <clears throat> well we got crust exchange crust cru crust network that's the one that's the one for the internet to turn on and start oh my gosh i pay for the high like fiber optic office inter oh look at that so again a bit of a degen play 25 million dollar market cap i'm gonna buy more of this one um, I think, uh, with an all time high like this, I mean, if this thing just, it is just starting to break out, you can see we are, did we pass that high? Yes, we did. So, uh, just making higher highs and higher lows right now. So looking for that higher low to come in 
and you'd be buying the dip, essentially buying the dip on that seven day time frame. The prices are down and uh, that's what I like to do in these times right now. If you can find a coin that is good, that is down, that has a low market cap, that's how you're going to pay rent, baby. That is how you're going to pay rent. Uh, <clears throat> next one up here. Kati. And I want to just review some of the market caps on these here. This, this is a homomorphic encryption. It's a privacy coin, as you know. Um, if you, you know, if somebody has your wallet address, they can see all the coins that you have or hold. They don't know who it is, but uh, these guys are doing homomorphic homomorphic uh, homomorphic encryption uh, long story short uh, it allows you to not show all that you have in your wallet something like that um, part of the privacy narrative so privacy is a big thing and it's a 300 million dollar market gap right now and this one just had a big pump, obviously. So uh, hoping for a higher low on this one. And let's look at the chart. How are we gonna manage the risk on this one? C-R, Kati, Kati, C-O-T-I. Oh man. Here we go, Mr. Kati, Mr. Kati, Mr. Kati. What up, Rob? Hey, man, I'm on TikTok and YouTube doing a live stream. If you want to jump in there with me and. Uh, I just turned one hundred and forty dollars into thirteen hundred dollars over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm going to give you some really good information on how to buy, sell and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. All right, brother, I'll call you in a bit. Bye. Anyways, uh, so rudely interrupted here, my 10 p.m. Um, 10 p.m., all right, there we go, Kati, okay. So you can see we have filled in the last uh, major candle. The last major candle, we came down to test the 0.5 and usually you get a bounce from there. Um, four hour time frame, looking a bit better as we got slightly declining volatility, almost declining low volatility and it's just beginning to increase. So I am hoping for a bounce off this green 55 and the hourly you can see well kind of has the opposite look not the best look actually um, that would be your cell so it needs to it needs to uh, lift off here this is a perfect jewel buy signal momentum is to the upside on the hourly so I'm hoping this is one of the times you bust through the green 55 and don't look back don't look back because uh, well <clears throat> We're long crusty or er, Kati Kati. All right. <clears throat> Last coin to pay rent here, guys. Mr. Tao, that's kind of boring, but um, Tao is the number one AI narrative. And I did like the setup on this one. We, we have a setup on our discord. By the way, there is a link to the discord uh, with the free trade setups. It's going to be free for one more week here. So might as well join us now and get in on some of these trade setups as we like to uh, post them often. I did not post anything as of late, but um, I can tell you this much that Tao is due for a bounce. It's due for a bounce. 
Oh, baby, look at that. Look at that. Perfect, perfect train. <clears throat> so this one is a shout out for my boy, Mr. Mark. Uh, Mr. Mark, we did uh, personally walk through, and that's part of what we do at Bitcoin Advisors is we help custom tailor a crypto investment strategy that fits your needs. You can help put, put some crypto in your IRA and <clears throat> learn how to become a trader. Uh, we do have crypto school here, Bitcoin 101. How to stack sats using technical analysis. You want to stack your sats. And that was our big, you know, conversation this afternoon. A lot of people is like, look, I wish I would have bought Bitcoin when it was lower. And I know Bitcoin is the answer to, you know, financial revolution. Bitcoin is like the best crypto since sliced bread. And uh, well, either you're going to get more Bitcoin by trading or you're going to have to buy some altcoins, let them run to the moon. And then what? cash them in for Bitcoin so you can get more Bitcoin in the future. You might be capped at the amount of Bitcoin you're owning right now because you don't have any more capital. Well, uh, might be a decent time to rotate into the party, into the party, which is the altcoin party. And that's what our plan is right now. Um, anyways, TIA uh, we were frothing, frothing at the mouth to try and take a long right up here. And why is that? Well, um, <clears throat> we could our good old, use our good old fib tool right here was that 618. And we were saying, look, uh, maybe we're going to get a bounce off the 618. Well, that did not happen. And so what I suggest to people is that instead of just dumping all your order in right here at 1673, you put one third here, one third here, and one third here, and then put your stop loss uh, below, right below the prior wick, which was this one, uh, excuse me, right here, this, this little bad boy. Anyways, long story short, um, I also was looking back at the last Oh, look at this. This is the last major area to get filled. This one isn't guaranteed to go up from here. Definitely not. But with the way the whole market ripped today, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the beginning of a bit of a W on a higher term time frame. Well, <clears throat> it, it, it's got some work to do. And really, until we can clear this level i would call it uh 1645 1645 then likely um it's got some work to do and it could retrace and come back down and tag this last major vector candle fill that baby in um but i'm going to give the benefit of the doubt we are lifting out of the bearish control zoom uh, and by the way this is tia celestia Celestia sounds like a girl's name, like some kind of a girl's name. Um, anyways, highly esteemed internet technology. It's going to solve the world for stacking stuff on your blockchain. <laughs> That's the best I can do with that one. I want to review two other hot ones. Uh, Mr. Sia coin, say, say, see ya, whatever you want to call it, S E I. Did come into our buy zone here today. And uh, this one also just tagged that 618. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed it. Um, I did have my my long entry right there at the 618. And I think I missed it by like a fraction of a penny. And yes, indeed, just barely missed it. But um, I already had an order in, so that's okay. You're not gonna get them all perfectly. And Zeta, this this one is actually <laughs> my largest position open right now. And it hit our buy zone two times. By the way, this buy zone was in there, guys. I was, you know, I said, here's the buy zone. We tagged it twice um, and put in a nice little higher low at the moment. 
at least the four hour and it's still got some work to do itself here you know this is um it's got some work to do it needs to really clear above here to get bullish again back above this line and i think uh well <clears throat> there's new all-time highs to be made new all-time highs to be made so keep your eye on zeta guys zeta is a competitor to solana mr solana bear um and solana well let's check it out solana market cap of 58 billion with a b 58 billion <clears throat> layer one the east killer and well what is zeta zeta chain mr mr zeta all right anyways uh market cap of 500 billion sorry 500 million so if it does anything close to what uh, what anything close to what solana did you know or that's that's going to be, uh, yeah, I don't even want to compare it to Solana yet. It's not close enough. Uh, there's so much time to go in this market, but uh, <clears throat> I will leave you guys with that thought. If this is 500 million, Solana is 50 billion. That's too many zeros right now, but I think that's like a 10x if we if we head up to that to that kind of a product valuation. I, I don't know. Uh, I think... A lot of people are going crazy on this one right now, and it's part of the narrative, part of the portfolio, at least for the longer term, not really the rent payer, but uh, let's wish Rob some luck. We are put $10,000 in this, $1,600 each, I believe, and we're going to watch this baby. We're going to watch this baby, and um, let's go MAGA, let's go DGI, Crust, Cotty Tau, Ribbon Finance, all the best stuff on the list right now. That's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button again. It's just a common courtesy. Hit the like button, okay? And pass it on to your friends. I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully a little bit earlier. And I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your night. And if it's the morning, the rest of your day. Take care. <clears throat>